Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Wump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a hot minute, so we have lots to talk about, but let's get ready while we chat. So firstly and foremostly, look at my horns. <laughs> Y'all, I can't with all the headbands. They're so cute. I can't stop. This is from Shein and I placed an order for like a bunch of earrings, like Halloween specifically, but then I got, I went down the rabbit hole and this was on there and I thought, okay, that's a yes from me, dog. So I've got to stop because I only have one head and I only wear these for, for videos, but I thought y'all would like them too. So there's those. How sweet are they? So cute. Uh, shirt is old. It says, hello fall because we're in fall now. Um, and I'm filming a bunch of like folly video, auto autumnal videos today. Um, this is an old shirt from Lane Bryant. And I think it might have been from Lane Bryant Outlet online. They had a range of these super soft, like long sleeve tees um, that were, I don't, it was, it was several years ago. I've, I have several uh, from that uh range and I bought them all because I love them and they've lasted. We're getting a little, you know, we're getting a little fuzzy around the neckline, see, but it's fine. I, I, I'm going to wear it till it falls apart. It's so soft. Um, so, but I went on a Lane Bryant this morning just to take a gander and y'all, if you wear like pride shirts, um, you know, year round or whatever, cause I do, um, they have a bunch of tees and stuff that are six ninety eight right now. So, uh, for it's like a fourteen to I think a size thirty four now on Lane Bryant. So go check that out for six ninety eight for some shirts. Um, see what see what you see. Just I was just I haven't placed an order, Mister Mugwump, but I will. So um, I want a couple more pride shirts to get me through this year. I bought several pride shirts from. Old Navy, of course. I always get the pride shirt from Old Navy or more than one pride shirt from Old Navy because I love their, uh, the way that their 4X in women's fits. It's just, it's just baggy enough. The 4X in men's, no dice. The way that it's cut looks terrible on me. I can't, I can't stand it. But the 4X in women's, it's, I don't like things that are super huggy. Um, and so I like some room to groove and that works really well for me. So anyway. Um, and then I think Belk had some that were on sale. I always wait till after June because then I get them on sale because I can't. Okay, I'm just rambling. We, we've been doing, we've been filming for three minutes and I ain't done a squat diddly do. But that's okay because I haven't talked to you in a hot minute. So let's actually put some makeup on our face. And then we'll talk about what's been going on um, here recently. Scent of the day, though, is YSL's Black Opium. And I have the Dossier version of this. It is Ambery Vanilla, and it is amazing. I'm pointing because it's not in this room. Um, but I have a sample that's that's I'm going to use up. But that's the scent of the day because it is fall. Black Opium, for me, is uh, an autumn scent. So... Um, it's warm, smells like coffee and vanilla and cuddles. So that's, I like that scent, but I've never bought like an actual straight up outright YSL fragrance, but I always get the samples and now I have the dossier one and it's perfect. That one's great. It's just in the bathroom because I always, just, anyway, you don't care, but I'm just telling you. Okay, let's get some primer on our face and let's talk a little bit about how how uh how have y'all been let me know down below um those of you in florida how are you my aunt is in bradenton they lost power but they're okay um i'm in north carolina and we got two and a half inches of rain um and some pretty gusty wind on friday from Hurricane Ian, but that was it. We had, uh, Mr. Mugwump did a good job of 
taking care of all the things outside that could be damaged or damage something else. So he, he did the outside preparation and it was just fine here. Um, I live in a, in a, a neighborhood that is in the city. So, um, we actually even had like trash and recycling pickup that morning. It was rainy. Don't get me wrong. It was a lot of rain, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't flooding here. We didn't have any of those issues. So I think something in my skincare is pilling <sighs> and I hate that. I don't know what it is. It might, I don't know what it is. Ugh, I tried a couple of new things today. That's the that's the problem with trying more than one new thing is you can't pinpoint what the problem is. Pilling is a pain, but if you, I just, this is my disgusting, don't judge. <coughs> it is clean, but stained from years. I've had these for nine years. Anyway, I bought a, a really, it was like, I think it was an 18 count pack of white washcloths at Walmart. Really rough, like not, not soft. <laughs> I would not use these on my face or body <laughs> to wash. However, it has, uh, it was Emily Noel who uh, told me about, told me, like she was talking to me. She said, she mentioned this and I was absolutely Sold. She said, put one down on, you know, whatever you're doing your makeup on and use it to like quickly, you know, wipe things on or um, open things on so that if it spills, it, like all that. Because I, I, I've got carpet in my room. I don't want, you know, makeup particles going everywhere because it'll stain my carpet, things like that. Anyway, um, I've used these. I throw them in the wash with my regular wipes load and... I've used it to take off like hair dye. I've used it to um, clean makeup so that I'm not ruining, you know, something by doing that. It's, they're wonderful. So I highly recommend just and not expensive on purpose because they're, when it's got a rough texture, it'll quickly clean a brush or whatever it is. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a thing. This was, sorry, this was LYS Brave. Um, highlighter, we are getting down. I don't know why we're getting down to the dregs of that. So speaking of dregs, oh gosh, I got more than one wipe. I am going to do a fall project pan this year. It's not in conjunction with anyone, but I am going to focus on some products that I want to use up. And so I'll be filming that today as well. Some of the items that I use today are in that project pan. So we'll talk about that on that video about what I want to use up and sorry, noise. So we'll do that today, but um, spoiler that LYS is in there and it is a beautiful product that puts down glow, but without any glitters at all. I've got a couple of friends because being a woman uh, once a month is so much fun. It wasn't a bad month for that, but it was, we did cry one night for a good amount of time. <laughs> the purge. <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. It's all fine. So there. There's that. Um, I have, I'm going to use, I want to show you how this works. This is my Frankenstein foundation. I had so many little tiny bottles of foundation, Givenchy, Dior. I, I had, I think I've got a Sephora in here. I've got, uh, I know a Tarte. I, I emptied them all into a little container and then I color corrected with my LA girl foundation pigment mixers to where, cause 90% of these things were too dark or too yellow or too peach or whatever. So I, I concocted it because I would never use these little tiny things, especially if they weren't the right color. 
So I made my own color and it still looks a little bit peachy. So I might be in trouble, but we'll see. I have pillings all in my hair because that's where it's going. I washed my own hair this week. Um, I know that sounds like a weird thing to say. I That's one of the things that I do for myself every week. I go um, and get my hair washed by someone else. It's essentially a blowout, but it's the wash that I really want because um, she scratches and massages my scalp. I have fibromyalgia, so I hurt everywhere. And one of the major repercussions of my fibromyalgia is I have TMJ. Um, so anyway, I have a night guard, I wear it, but I always clench and my jaw and face and scalp always hurt because those muscles are all interconnected. So um, anyway, she does a wonderful job of a, essentially a scalp massage. And then she blow dries my hair, which is, I mean, most people would go for the hair blow drying. That's just a perk. <laughs> so anyway, it's something that I do for myself. But this week we were in the middle of hurricane rain and she and I both decided let's scratch it. So then I washed my own hair for the first time in quite a long time. Um, and it's just air drying and it looks fuzzy and crazy because I haven't done anything with it. So please forgive that. Let's, let's get started on the old, on the old interesting face makeup here. Ooh. I haven't used this in a minute. It does look too peachy, but let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit too peachy. We probably need a little bit more blue. It's just a constant fight, but we'll get there. I mean, it's not terrible, terrible, but we'll, I mean, it'll work for today, but yeah, I'll add some more blue. Part of the problem was I ran out of room in the little container to keep adding. So once I use up some more, it'll be okay. So if you have these little things floating around, want to use up something in a small container, make yourself a Franken foundation and work on the undertone of it. And make it perfect. This is not it, but we're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. Things look much more yellow on camera than they do in actual life. So just keep that in mind. But we'll we'll work on this with some bronzer and powder and stuff. Okay. You just hold on. So it's an interesting it's a wonderful uh formula because everything that makes each one of those things nice I I have all included. Okay. We retired my DSMD sponge because I have used it for a long time. And I'm going to buy more of them when I can because that sponge was everything. It was sent to me by a subscriber and I have never in my life felt an extra sponge. This one is from Shein. This was a strawberry cute little summer thing. It was like a duo and it was, it's, th it's this thing grew so much. Uh, it, it's this one. So super bulbous, bulbous, uh, with a, with a point. And then look at the baby. Look at the baby. Oh, it was so cute. Anyway, uh, it was, I think it was over the summer. It's very likely still there. Um, I placed, I'm, I've got stuff in my cart right now because they have a Corpse Bride release and I want it so bad, but I don't need it, but I want it from Shein. She Glam is their like house beauty brand or whatever. I have found that most of their products are really well done. So this sponge is not bad. It is, a, we'll talk about my hand in a minute. Um, This is, it doesn't feel like a beauty blender. It feels more like a real techniques, if that makes sense. And it's not bad. It picks up the excess product that I got on my face. That's what I use a sponge afterwards for, plus any brush strokes or whatever, but it, it distributes the product even better and it presses it into my skin. That's what I use a sponge afterwards for. I almost always use a some sort of way to put it on my face and then use a sponge to press it in because it is always gonna even things out for me. 
I hardly ever apply with a sponge because I feel like I pick up too much. I don't know. I don't know. But there's that. Still a little peachy. We're going to work on it. We are a work in progress. But my little baby will work on my baby. <laughs> okay. Under my eyes, let's use... We're peeling on my eyelids. Great fun. Let's use Erase Paste. This is Benefit Erase Paste. It is now called Boing. We are in uh, probably we're going to get arrested for using something this old at some point, but this is 100 years old. This is in the shade number one fair. I have a number two medium that I need to use up as well. They're still good, y'all. I don't know. I can't throw them away if it's still good and it still works. I'm just this person. So real techniques like crease brush. It works really well for scrubbing on some 20 year old concealer. This is real pinky peachy salmon -y or whatever, but it works for helping my blue under eyes that are hereditary. <laughs> and it blends in just fine. There she is. I did clean my vanity. I know, stop the presses. I did clean my vanity. I worked on it last night. In my night tail, my night tail, my nightgown tail. Um, for probably two hours. I cleaned and clean and clean. And I moved a lot of things off of my vanity and back onto my shelves. They just sort of migrate, things sort of migrate. And then I'm like, oh, I'll use it. And it's it's better to have it in front of me, but then I'll lose all the space of like spreading out and oh, it's annoying. So I was happy for that to be done last night. So there's, there's that. This shirt does collect lint, so that's nice. Um, but it's it works, it's fine. Okay, let's put on some eye primer. Uh, we'll use the lemonade. This is Benefit Lemonade. It is just as old as the other one, as the rice paste, but you know, here we are. We'll use the same real techniques, techniques brush to slap this on. It is a very pale yellow eye primer, but it's pastel. Like it's not like soft ochre. Um, in the MAC paint pot, I am a painterly person. I have used soft ochre, but it's, I'm a pink undertone more than I am a yellow, but this pale yellow is so pale. It doesn't even like register as yellow. So anyway, it's a, it's an eye primer from 1700 years ago and mine is still viable so I'm going to use it. Lemonade. You know it just goes to show how we have I have too many products but that's okay I enjoy them all but using them up does give me joy hence the whole Project pan. <laughs> Did you see it leave my brain and then come back? <laughs> no, not a not a great day for thinking over here. Okay. Oh, hair is drying. I hate the feel. I hate the feel of hair drying. Okay. I'm cleaning my makeup brush on the washcloth that we talked about earlier, and it's working just fine. Sorry. My monitor is my TV and it just stopped showing me myself. It's like frozen. And so I think I'm going to do the rest of this video blind with what I'm filming and where, what I can show you. So let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, actually, hold on. So I have a giant TV in my makeup room. It's huge. I don't know how many inches, 55, 60, I don't know. Um, and it, I watch videos as I like clean, but also get ready when I'm not filming. But I use the TV as a monitor when I am filming so that I can see what's in frame and what's not. And it's right here. <laughs> so it's now off. So let's see, if, let's see how the rest of this video goes. Can she do it without seeing 
what she's filming. There's the question. All right. So I've got a new Halloween adorable thing from, this one came from Shein as well. It's dirty because I've already used it, but it's a little, um, you know, one of the, but it's not like puffy, like with the same feel as this. It's, it's more, it's, it doesn't feel like microfiber. It is more slick than that. So we're going to use it to press in our Laura Mercier under eye brightening powder and we'll see how it goes. I have, I, I played with it when I got it. It comes in a three pack, but there's like a little witch and it says happy Halloween. Um, I love stuff like this. Okay. So let's just see how this goes. This Laura Mercier is ever lasting. I know one day I'm going to be done with it, but it ain't today. It's just, it's, you use so little of it. <laughs> then you puff it into the air. Let me tell you what is this massive thing. We are working on the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. Because this monster takes up every bit of room all over. It does come with its own puff, which I do use um, when I am... What's the word? Uh, when I when it's got powder on it, I'll use the puff. Like if I accidentally turn the thing upside down or whatever, I'll use that. Um, but it's it's something that I just it drives me bonkers because it's so big and I just so I want to use it up. It's a decent powder. This is one of those things that the packaging is ruining it for me because it's ridiculous. Why did you buy it? You asked. Ah, uh, because I wanted to try the product. And now that I have it, I like the product. But man, it's huge. But I do use this like bowl in the top to mix other things together. Like I was mixing a couple mineral powders together to get my shade a couple weeks ago. And it's pretty good for that. But man, oh man, it is a pain. Okay. It's lovely, but man. Ugh. There's that. We are powdered to the gauts. Let's do some brows. I pulled an old standby. The e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift Pencil. This is in the shade Taupe. I like taupe brow pencils for uh, most... It's either medium brown or taupe for me. I don't want it too ashy of a taupe, and this one is not. And this bad boy, I think, is $3 now. I think I got it, I think, when it was $2 and I, there was a 50% off sale. Maybe it was a, something like a Black Friday kind of thing where the entire site was 50% off. And I bought maybe 10 of them because they were a dollar each. And brow pencils don't go bad. Well, I haven't seen that these do anyway. I had to clean the spoolie off on this bad boy. So I bought 10 and I was glad that I did because they're fantastic. They're, they're just, they really are a standby. They're, they're something that I like trying other brow things, but this pencil is so good and quick and easy to use. But I do want to use my Eye Method Beauty Brow Gel. This is the Grooming and Volumizing Brow Gel in 04 little tiny spoolie and it works really well at holding and keeping hairs where they belong. I have fairly long brow hairs um, that are in desperate need of a like a groom and a trim but I don't do it myself because I'll rip half of it off. I mean don't I get it's it's bad. So I try, <laughs> I try to withstand the need to do it. And then probably, I guess it's about twice a year that I actually go and get them done because it's, they aren't so unruly that I can't maintain some, but I don't necessarily need shaping, but a couple of times a year. Okay. There is, um, all manner of powder and everything else in my hair. I have one curl that curls into my face on this side and it just stays. It just stays makeup-y because I can't get it to go anywhere else. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I do have a bronzer that I'd like to try to use up. And it's almost gone. This is the Balance and Bronze by Laura Geller in Fair. And we're going to scrub that bronzer out of 
the side of this one. I want to use an angled like brush. I also want to use the powder up, but part of the problem is, is that I've got bronzer and powder and we're getting down to the dregs of both. And so it's, it's hard to keep them separate like I used to be able to do when it was like you know domed up and it was really easy now I'm kind of scrubbing and I so it's a little bit like right now I know I've got powder on my brush and bronzer on my brush so I might have to go in and do a little bit more concentrated but it's just it's a pain I liked the fact that they were in one for ease but now that I'm getting down to the very bottom I hate it so I want to I'll be hate painting this not really hate it it's, I love the product it's just the fact that I've I've got a shared tile and it's really hard to pick up. I adore the Balance and Brighten foundation, the powder foundation. I adore the bronzer. I love the formula of this. I love the color of it. I love everything about it. It is so beautiful. But ding dong if this ain't hard to use. It just takes effort. And some days I don't, I don't want to have effort. I just want to, you know, dip my brush in a bronzer and be done with it. That's the problem. So that's why this one's going into the project pan is so that I'm intentionally using this because I, I want to use it up because I love it, but it's so annoying. So there's that. I th it looks great. I should have used that powder, but I didn't think about it. Okay. For blush today, let's use one of the AOA Studio Cherry Blossom Blushes. This one is in Kyoko. Isn't she pretty? This is from Shop Miss A. Down in my video description box, there's always a link to Shop Miss A that is an affiliate link. I don't get a commission or anything, but they, they track to see, um, you know, where folks come from to make a purchase. And then I got like a $35 gift card from them last month because I was one of their top affiliates just from y'all going and using my link to go make a purchase, which is really nice of you. So thank you so much. But it's, it's something that it helps my channel because I got more products to talk about and to play with. There's that blush. It's a beautiful blush. I didn't go ham with it, which is unusual for me, but, but I did, I didn't want to show you that color. Next, that's not the right product. I reorganized stuff. I pulled this bad boy out because somebody was talking about it. I think it was Floating in Dreams. Uh, Micah was talking about the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is the Be My Highlight. This is the old school, like, old school highlighter that everybody had and everybody loved, and I did too, and I haven't pulled it out in a long time, so I am. So if you have this highlighter, and you've forgotten about it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really that good. It really is. So I'm going to make a point to use this. Because it is so beautiful. And it's undetectable. It is absolutely undetectable. It's gorgeous. It's like 4 or $5. Something like that. Okay. There's the base. Let's spray. We're going to use the Wet n' Wild Wanna Wrestle Saved by the Bell. <coughs> Not a good smell, y'all. Not a good smell. I broke my other fan, so we're using our kimchi fan, which I'm happy to use. So coming up on the filming docket, I've pulled my, my favorite palettes for Paul, for fall. And some of them might surprise you. I've seen so many folks do this in the last week alone. And I watched them all because I love color stories that folks consider fall color stories. I have different palettes than most everybody. Everybody pulls, you know, soft glam, modern renaissance. Like, it's just, it's, they, but I, I have, I think I have, I have modern renaissance. I don't even have soft glam, but I pulled what I want to use this fall. So, uh, stay tuned for that because it's, it's a little bit different than other people's because I have probably 
of I have a wide variety of of things that I pulled, but I, these are the ones that I was like, these are the ones I want to use. Um, let's, I'm going to pause because I want to do an eye look in a different video. So I'll come back with my eyes done. We'll do mascara um, and lips together. Hold on. All right, we are back with eye look done. This is a one shadow look, y'all, and an eyeliner. <laughs> so check out my uh, custom fall palette video to see which one I used for that. I built a custom fall palette, built. I put together a custom fall palette for myself this year. It's the first time I've done it uh, for this season. So went through my single sh shadows and pulled the ones that I really wanted to use that spoke to me. So I now have a palette of goodies that I want to use and uh, go check out that video if you want to see that because this shade is in there and it is everything. Let's try a brand new mascara. This is the Tall Lash Mascara from AOA Studio. I've had it for a minute. It sells for $1.88. So it has a precise wand and it's got, it says it's lengthening for a national, national, a uh, natural look. Used to blend falsies to your natural glasses. You know, I do have some falsies that I could try. They, I got them from Shein. Hold on. They're like little half lashes. Maybe we'll try them today. First, let's try this though by itself. Let's curl the lashes. Because I always have to do that. My lashes naturally point straight out. And they are... They no curling mascara curls them like there's no such thing. And truthfully, whenever I use a waterproof mascara right after I curl them, that's the best that it gets as far as keeping the curl. But even then, they fall by the end of the day. I tried a lash lift, it worked on one eye, the other one, the lashes fell in about a week. So we have delightful lashes oh my okay ah what a wild one hold on let me get them here this is so wild y'all This is not like new new. It's been in my drawer for a minute. And I just decided to pull it because it looked intriguing. And it is. You can like tight line with this thing. How wild. It's a comb. Hold on, friends. Oh, my lashes came out. Hold on. What the ding dong merrily on high is this? Okay. It's like a comb. And then the other side, it's, it's, there's product. So if you press it, at the very root of your lashes, you can tight line with the mascara product. Ha! How cool. I don't know if that's what it's designed for. But it works that way. I got a little bit on the down there, but I'll fix it. Heck yeah. I'm going to let that little drop dry so that it doesn't. What is that? What sorcery? Okay, let's open up these. I mean, these are cheap. Cheapy, cheapy, cheaps. But 
I wanted to try a, like a half lash. I know like Tara babies, Tara does, she cuts hers. Like she just, she cuts them. So I just wanted to give it a whirl that I didn't have to cut them, but that they would already be cut. I know that's sad, but. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, that was looking, that's going to look crazy. Look how crazy that's going to look. Are we going to do it? Look how crazy that's going to look. Hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. They don't look, they don't look natural because my natural lashes aren't like blending, blending into the shorter end. But we'll do it. I use the Duo with a uh, brush on adhesive with vitamins. I just always have and that's the one I use, unless I'm using a magnetic, and then I use the Glamnetic. I don't wear lashes very often since the pandemic and being at home and everything. I just, I mean, I don't on an everyday basis, but I like the look of them. These are going to be interesting. <laughs> Probably a little crazy, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm obsessed with this eye look. Obsessed. Okay, let's see if I can get this on. In the right space. I mean, it is a lot easier to put on half a lash than a whole one. I'll say that. That's one of the other reasons why I wanted to try this is because I thought it would be easier. And it is. These have a lot of glue um, on the lash to like in the packaging. So I'm trying to get that off before I put my own glue on, you know what I mean? Some have, some lashes have less than others to stick them down in the packaging. And so sometimes I don't have to do very much to get the glue off. This has a little bit more glue than I would like, but I guess it held it down in the packaging. This looks crazy. It looks crazy. But I ain't mad at it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who cares? It's just makeup. It comes Y'all didn't think you were going to watch me put on crazy lashes today, did you? Okay. Oh, I just dumped over my glue. No, it didn't fall out. Don't worry. My newly cleaned vanity and I'm tearing it up. I have two of these glues open. And every time I'm like, get the older one, get the older one. And then I can't remember which one's the older one. So now they're both the old ones. These came from She Glam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how much I paid for them, but it was like probably a couple bucks. Because I don't pay for lashes very much. Like at all. Because I have lashes that I need to be using. And I could cut them. I don't know why. What like why wouldn't I just cut my own lashes? I don't know. Okay lash on <laughs> I am gonna I'm gonna do another coat it said to use this to marry your false lashes to your real ones so let's do it Did that make 
make a difference? I don't know. I mean, there you go. Lips. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number 40. And I had Mr. Mo Womp pull the stopper out because it was, I couldn't get anything else out on the wand. I love this formula. I love this color. Okay, we're gonna try to not make a disgusting mess of the packaging. Look at that color. It's perfect. It's perfect for fall. It's neutral, so it's not super cool, not warm. Beautiful. There's the look. What do we think? I think these lashes are nuts, but I'm gonna wear them because I can. Let's, uh, Let's hop into fall palettes and autumn things. Let's do it. I hope you like this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I, I never told you the story about my hand. All right, next video. <laughs> I'll tell you the whole story. It's drama and tears and the gnashings of teeth. It's actually not that bad, but I can tell you all about it um, because I share things with you that I probably oughtn't, but it's what friends do on the internet. So if you want to be my friend, hit subscribe and let's be friends on the internet. Tell me below. Oh, the one and done weird shadows that you like. If you have one of these that you like that creates a bruise on your eye, tell me what it is. I'll go buy it. I swear I will. Uh, Cause I love this. I love this look. I think it's so fun. Uh, also like the video if you liked it because that helps me out and my channel out and I appreciate it. Thanks for all your support and all your kind words and uh, I love you guys. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.